really some of the basics uh, that you need to know to effectively and efficiently put in gang boxes for your basement electrical needs. A few of the tools that you're going to need to get this job done are a pencil and a tape measure. Those are the most basic tools you're going to need. Maybe a hammer or a drill uh, and some screws depending on what kind of gang boxes you have. For us, it's going to be um, a hammer. It's going to be a hammer because these are the gang boxes we're using. Okay, Pretty simple to understand. You line them up on here at a certain point, okay, and then you just kind of drive them in. And they do have little tabs on here that do account for the sheetrock once everything's put in place. Other tools that you may want to use are going to be maybe a level, a chalk line, and a couple of nails just to hold that chalk line in place. So we're going to jump forward and start getting this project underway, demonstrate everything that you may need to know to put this up. One thing I'd like to touch on real quick is code. The building code states that you must have one outlet set up for every six feet of wall. That's six linear feet of wall. So basically, in any one direction, you need to have an outlet. So when it comes here to the corner and shoots off this direction, you need to have one outlet every six feet, minus doorways. So without any further delay, let's go ahead and get into the project. All right. So first, as I said, we need a tape measure and a pencil. So when I measure this, I'm going to need to account for where my workbench is going to be. Because some of you, I'm sure, are asking, why are you going to put a gang box for an outlet this high? Well, I'm going to have a workbench that comes up to at least this high, 37 inches. Okay. So. That workbench itself is going to be two to three inches tall, so we're going to want to have a gang box up even a little higher. So we're going to go ahead and measure from the floor, okay, to get our rough estimate. And then we can go along the rest of the two by fours. We can skip every other one, or if you're very OCD, I would say go ahead and do every one. at least a few inches higher than that. We could do three to four. So let's go ahead and do four inches higher to the bottom of the gang box. So now we're going to go ahead and just measure the rest of them out at 45 inches. So the measuring's done. Next, what we're going to want to do is go ahead and put a level on there and make sure we're all good and level. So now that we've gotten that part done, the next step is to go ahead and prepare our chalk line. All right. So as talked about, we need a hammer and a couple of nails. That's exactly what I have here. So what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and take a nail and put it in directly on the line at 45 inches. That'll give us a nice place to put our chalk line. We're going to do the same thing at the other end because we're assuming that you probably don't have another set of hands to do this with at home. <laughs> So we're ready for the chalk line. You're going to want one of these, which is just a run-of-the-mill chalk line. Okay. What I like to do is give it a good pat, try and move that chalk all around in here. Okay. Give it a bit of a shake. So what we're going to do first is we're going to go ahead and start at one end and work to the other. So there we go. Our chalk line, as you can see, is strung out along the wall. All we need to do now is just give it a good pluck. I recommend starting in the middle of your wall to make sure you get the best chalk distribution as possible. Well, 
look at that lovely blue line. Now it's time to get to the meat and potatoes of the project. So as talked about earlier, these are pretty foolproof, pretty easy to use. You just line them up with the wall. They have little tabs. Can you see those there? Right there and right there. It's very simple. You line those up with a 2x4. Let me grab a scrap piece of wood and show you what I mean. So I've got a scrap piece of 2x4, a little piece I cut off an end, and I've got our gang box. So I want to show you how this works. These two tabs, as I explained before, okay, line up with the 2x4. Okay, very simple. So you take your edge right here of the 2x4 and you just push that gang box in until it just makes contact with that 2x4. And you can see it ends up being fairly even. Use that as a guide to know where you need to be. So we're going to get started. We're going to start with gang box number one. We have to take into consideration that this concrete floor may not be 100% level. So we're going to go ahead and stick with our blue line because we know that's even and level and will give a nice aesthetic look when the project's all finished. So as you can see, we've gotten all three of our above bench gang boxes in. So we have one, two, and three. This is going to be used for any needed power equipment or electrical equipment that we may need to use for any of our further projects that we're going to do once this office is complete. Alright guys, thanks for watching. If you found something informative here, please like. It does help. As always, if it's informative and interesting and you'd like to see what's to come and more videos like this one, please subscribe up here in the corner. I'll put an annotation that'll link you right to the subscribe button. Thank you, everybody. Have a wonderful day.